Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you will be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purposes. Let me first and foremost get your reaction to your friend, uh, Mr. Peter Obi. His departure from your party, he's dumped your party. How does that come to you? It's not surprising to me. And that's what I've always said. Um, when I go around to say you have to be careful. Uh, those of us who have joined the party since 1998, who have never left this party, we believe it is party, it's in our blood. It doesn't matter what uh, problems we may have in the party, we have to be inside it to settle the problems. So, uh, Peter will be leaving the party, it's not surprising to me, and I know, but he does. There's no way he would have won the presidential uh, primary. Forget about what uh, his uh, DG, Dede Okube, said about money and this, you know, these are the things I talk about. Uh, you for, don't think he can win? Win what? The presidential primary of the PDP. How would you have won? I went to another told you that don't no waste your vote on him. He will win. Since Peter B left PDP, I mean left uh, Abga. First, left as a governor. Well, do I want to let you in the number blind? Check it. But that is not the issue. The issue is that look, at that level, there must be integrity. There must be character. How can a man who has gone to all okay, virtually states to tell them how he's been a trader, how his family has been trading, how everybody should support him, how he owns one shoe, how he does not allow, allow anybody to carry his bag, all those kind of things. Three days to the primaries, you see, I've led the party. Now, from what I read from the social media, he had met Kwakwaso, he had to join him in the NNP. So, you don't ask him, what is going to be there? Kwakwaso wants to be president. So, would he not say, okay, I want to be VP to Kwakwaso? Which is not a have no, All I tell people, integrity, character, is very, very important in what we do. You see how people talk about when you say, for example, Shewu, look, you went to social primary school, secondary school, see what you did, see what you put, oh, why are you being personal? It's not about personal. In, in America, we have sleepless night to watch the debate of the Republican uh, Convention, of the Democrats. And you hear where they talk to each other. You, you can't, the Niger Americans cannot allow this country to be with you. Look at the kind of person you are. You went there, 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 sleeping uh, Joe but you can we cannot allow you. We only talk about Hillary Clinton. Look, you can you are not stable enough to be able to carry America. So when we're talking about character, it's an issue. You can be the best economist, but you don't have character. No integrity. Uh, your, ch your challenging is integrity and character just based on the fact that he left the PDP. Not just that. that. No, look, just look at A vice presidential candidate of the 2019 election. But what if he sees things differently now? What does he see? He doesn't thing? see that he, your, your he, party is... He did not see it uh, for how many years now? Just 72 hours. 72 hours. It's not his scene. He never saw for how many years now? The party gave you a presidential pres pres ticket. That was so some people can become presidential mm -hmm. candidates. And you still appoint your party. Mess you up. And, 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 and I, I've told delegate, look, you must be careful. Who are those that made people to lose the election? Can you trust them that if you give them the ticket? They will not be funny enough to 
will do something that will preach PDP. Your, your party is having some issues. I mean, yeah. the, I, I like to show you this letter yes. uh, that surfaced and uh, we show what INEC said about the primaries. And we're seeing a lot of issues happening across the country. Yeah. Take a look at what INEC said and yes. wrote about how the elections, I, I'm, I'm very sure you must have seen this. I mean, it's like a booby trap yeah. is waiting for your party. Yeah. It's not our party. What I know from what I saw, all political parties, you know, in this country, this impunity, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. You know, it's very painful. Very, very painful. What ANEC has come to say, listen, by section 84-1, this is what the electoral act has said. And in line with that, we must strictly comply to it. Therefore, be warned. That's what ANEC has said. Therefore, be warned. Everybody believes nothing will happen. I have my way. He has his way. So, we do all we can do. But your party in Kano, yes. your party in Anambra State, your yes. party in Imo, yes. they're having issues that's the relating to what no, I That's what I'm trying to say. What I make I said, we have watched what's going on in all the political parties. I will want to let you know, we will strictly comply with what the law says. Okay, you said I'm my party. I won't because of because it's my party. And then you don't comply with the rules. You don't you don't obey the law. And I Dr. Abati, as you can imagine, everyone is, you know, interested in this electoral process. Uh, you know, Amaka said that it was a shocking exit. I guess it is because he's a favorite, especially on social media. People were shocked. He was trending at number one for hours. Um, but I don't know. I guess the question is, is are Nigerians ready for a third force? Where is he going to at this point? Well, one, you are absolutely correct that... Uh Mr. Peter Obi's exit from the uh, People's Democratic Party came as a big surprise, came uh, as something really very shocking, considering the fact that many of these aspirants have said at one point or the other, and I think including Mr. Peter Obi himself, uh, that no matter what happens, they are loyal party men, and they will stay within the uh, party. Or some of them even went as far, like Wiki, for example are saying that they will support whoever emerges on the platform of the party. And then all of a sudden, you have Mr. Peter Obi, who has been one of the more outspoken you know, aspirants on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, delivering this shocker, saying he was withdrawing because of certain developments within the party, which uh, Dr. Dunyo Kupe, uh, you know, his campaign manager, also repeated. Now, what those developments within the party are, uh, we do not know. So there have been many speculations. One speculation perhaps is that uh, he may have seen that he would not be able to match some of the other aspirants uh, Naira for Naira uh, in terms of what happens during the, uh, you know, the uh, presidential convention of, of the party. And then we'll have decided that, okay, perhaps it's better to just uh, uh, withdraw. The second uh, uh, story that has been put out there is that Mr. Peter will be we will be considering joining a third force and running on the platform of another party. And in the last 24 hours, he has been associated with the NNPP, uh, the party led by uh, Senator Rabi Ukwankwanso uh, from uh, uh, Kano State. In fact, in some of the stories on social media, the two of them uh, were pictured uh, uh, together. I've even seen some flyers indicating uh, that the two of them will run uh, on the platform of the N NMPP. But Mr. Peter Obi and his uh, managers and spokespersons have not confirmed anything in this regard. So that still remains within the realm of uh, speculation. It has also been said that uh, maybe it will be heading towards the Labour Party or towards the uh, Social Democratic Party. Or we could have a situation whereby three or more political parties could come together and form a coalition and it could emerge on that uh, platform. Another speculation, of course, is that, oh, perhaps maybe he has some other plans that nobody knows yet. But he, of course, will know what the truth uh, is. Beyond that statement that he has issued, uh, you know, people are only left to uh, mere speculations. But he made a point 
uh, in that he said letter, which must be noted. He says he's still committed to the project to rescue Nigeria. In other words, he's, he's saying that he stands by all of those things that he's been saying about how uh, to rescue uh, Nigeria, and that it may well be that there are other routes, there are other ways of doing so. Well, what those other options available to him are, he will be in the best position to explain those options. But clearly, you know, uh, it's only time that will reveal all of this. However, it will seem that his exit uh, from the People's Democratic Party, uh, many will consider it a major minus for the party. Because if indeed, as he has said in one instance, uh, that whoever emerges, uh, his supporters, he will still work for the party. What it means is that those supporters that he has been able to build up, critically among the middle class, critically among young people, is very popular with uh, uh, you know, Nigerian youths, particularly youths from the southern part. Okay? And then, of course, he has his own base uh, in the southeastern part of the country. Now, if, the, uh, uh, if he has left the party, many of those his supporters, many of those delegates, uh, who may have uh, supported the PDP even in the general election uh, that he himself could have helped to mobilize to support whoever eventually emerges in the, uh, in the uh, PDP primaries. Uh, that opportunity may have been lost. Now, add to this the fact that he's not the only person who, has, uh, who withdrew from the presidential race, but he's the most uh, prominent person who decided to even leave the party uh, completely. If you look at the PDP primaries, in many parts of the country, you had persons withdrawing because they had issues with the delegates list, because they, they had issues with uh, court cases, because they had issues with the imposition of candidates uh, by governors and all of that. So this may be, you know, some of the developments that he may be alluding to, and then he will just decide, okay, it's better to just stay away uh, from this. But definitely, many will remember him so far, the efforts that he has made, uh, as somebody who showed great knowledge, uh, who showed uh, commitment, and uh, who spoke uh, true to power in many regards about the need for us to salvage uh, Nigeria. And, uh, you know, I hope his voice will not be lost, you know, uh, in that uh, conversation, and that he will still continue, you know, to make his uh, views uh, known and felt within the uh, general political uh, but again, well, whatever happens, uh, you know, we we'll just keep watching because I don't think this amounts to a resignation from politics. He didn't say he has resigned from politics. He has only left uh, the PDP. He was not originally a member of the PDP. When he was governor in Anambra State, uh, he became governor uh, for two terms on the platform of Abga. It was only in 2014, as that report indicated, that he joined the PDP. But because of the kind of person he is, uh, his passion, his commitment, uh, he rose to be uh, one of the major uh, prominent persons uh, within the PDP. So we'll keep watching. Maybe he will uh, emerge as a presidential candidate on the platform of another political party, or he may well still show up a second time as a running mate uh, to any other you know, uh, presidential candidate in any po other political party. So just some uh, quick insight. <clears throat> I reached out to Peter Obi this morning, and he confirmed that there's no talk yet with NNPP. Okay. So the story is out there, because that story was trending over yesterday. Yes. But NNPP, the political party, was trending. And I reached out, and he said that he's still scouting for political parties to join, but not the NNPP. I just needed to put that out there. But definitely, this will put a lot of permutations out there. Some people said he's taking a wrong decision. Some people said he's taking the right decision. He's giving people the chance for a fair voting chance, you know, for all his supporters and the likes. Some people say, okay, they know he'll never get a seat, you know, at the PDP. He'll never be on the ballot, and he needs to be on the ballot. But this has been a long time coming. But because of time, I, can't, I wanted to expatiate, but I can't talk much on this. <clears throat> Peter Obi's leaving this political party of the PDP will be the first of many to come. We'll see a lot of surprises after the primary. We'll, we'll talk more, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll